In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can take notes while watching video on the iPad. And it all depends on where you're watching the video and where you want to take the notes. Because let's say that the most popular option is YouTube and you just want to use like the regular notes app, the basic one from Apple. In that case, uh, there are two options. The first one is to use split screen multitasking. So that pretty much means that you open up YouTube, you click on any video that you want, you watch your content, and at the top of the screen, there are like three dots, which allows you to split the screen between two apps. So clicking on it will just make it go to one side or to the other. And while it is there, you're gonna click on the notes, and that's gonna make the notes show up next to it, which is gonna mean that you can watch the video, you can interact with it, like you can pause it whenever you need. And you can also click on the right or on the left, depending on where you have the video and where you have the notes and just use your keyboard to just add some sort of notes or whatever you're doing. That would be the first option when it comes to YouTube. The second one would be to use um, video in video, like picture in picture mode. And this only works with YouTube Premium. As you can see, I use it all, all the time. I love the service because it just allows you to watch the uh, YouTube without the ads and also like features features like these. So uh, if you want to use it or if you have a premium subscription, then you can actually uh, just watch a video, swipe up on it, like to get rid of uh, the background of the YouTube and only keep watching the video. You have the floating screen and you can open up any app that you want, including the notes, and you can just um, move the video around. You can slide it to the side to just keep on listening to the sound. You can take notes, you can do whatever you want. So that would be a really easy way, and I really like it that way. If you, however, use some sort of different service, like you don't wanna watch YouTube videos, but some other content, and you don't wanna use the Apple Notes, but other Notes app, uh, well, it just really depends on these apps. Make sure that both of them support split screen multitasking. If you use some of the popular note taking apps like GoodNotes or something like, uh, I don't know, Evernote, those apps should definitely support a split screen. So if, if it's something really popular, like, I don't know, some sort of uh, video in Safari, for example, and Evernote, then you can also split the screen and use the very same method. And also try to see if it, if the picture in picture mode also works for you as well. If yes, then of course you can use it with any app. Like if the note taking app doesn't even support split screen multitasking, it only works on a full screen. If you can get your video to be in like picture in picture to be a flowing one, then it doesn't matter. So you can use any app and just take notes while the video is floating on the screen. So it really depends on the combination and on the type of the video on the top of the website and app that you want to use it with. But these are the most popular options. These are the ways how I used it. But there is also a third option, which also works as a multitasking on the iPad, but it's not really split screen, but also another window on top of it. Well, in that case, let's say you have the YouTube open up then you just bring up the dock and grab your notes app. So you literally just grab it and put it on the top of the YouTube app. And this is going to make sure that you have like another window, which is like a vertical one on the top of the, the YouTube video. And whenever you don't need it, you can slide it to one side or to the other to make it go away. And whenever you want to take some notes, just slide it back and just type whatever you need and you can just slide it back once you are finished. So this is another way, and I think that this was probably a really good one. Actually, I used it a lot back then when I was learning some German languages and things, and this is very good. I uh, definitely would advise you to play around with these options to see what really works for you and what's something that you don't wanna use, but these are the most popular options. Like, of course, you can still watch a video in full screen, minimize the app, open up notes app, and, and like, of course, take the notes, but uh, this is not doing it at the same time. This is not a multitasking. So this is also something that I suppose you don't really want or need. 
So hopefully I gave you some ideas or solutions on how you can take notes while watching a video. So if it helped you and if you found some value in the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and also leave a comment saying whatever you want, like you can say that the video was good or that you expected something else. I will, with the most probability like likelihood, get back to you and reply to you. So you can go ahead and do that and also subscribe so you don't miss videos like these. Missing them means that they just simply don't show up on your YouTube page. So subscribing, just make sure that whenever something interesting or relevant to you is uploaded by me, then it's going to show up on your YouTube page as well. So go ahead and do that and we can see each other in the future videos. Have a great rest of the day and see you guys later.